Climate Action Climate Group last generation. Police also froze the group's accounts and shut down their website. The climate activists have been branded a criminal organization due to their high-profile protests. Phones were thrown and activists were shoved during an environmental protest organization. Just Stop Oil posted video from a May 19th protest where members walked in the middle of an East London Saint slowing traffic to a human pace. One person seemed to be fed up. He took protesters' banners and appeared to knock a cell phone out of a person's hand. Video shows the incident escalating. Bridge, uh, we've seen them being distributed uh, around the Tower Bridge by a, um, a young uh, worker who decided to try and shove them out of the way um, to move and let the traffic go through. Now, what we're also seeing here is uh, Blackfriars Bridge, a little bit further down. After the banners were thrown onto the sidewalk, a woman was pushed to the ground. Multiple protesters were shoved afterwards and another cell phone thrown. The Metropolitan Police Department said in a statement, we fundamentally understand the frustration and anger of London's communities when protesters walk slowly in the roads. Finally, at Just Stop Oil. Now, it's only a matter of time before a member of the public, in my view, seriously batters someone from Just Stop Oil. And it's about time the police started standing up. We urge people not to intervene and to wait for the arrival of police who will attend the scene promptly. Just Stop Oil has been holding slow march protests in traffic every day since April 24th. Their mission is to bring any new oil or cool projects in the UK to an end, the organization says. Drivers have fought back against eco-mob Insulate Britain, dragging them out of the road after they blocked a junction near Dartford Crossing. It led to the detention of a furious builder who tried his best to shove protesters out of the way while on his way to work. Got this from Peter and Stephen is right with respect to just stop oil while our police continue to support, protect, and encourage these wars to illegally block our roads. Then they will continue to do it. Well, what we're seeing, Vanessa, really importantly, is that every major political party in this country, with the exception of the Conservatives, has adopted Just Stop Oil's demand. They are all saying no new oil and gas that has ever worked. When we've needed to create social change at this kind of scale, this sort of civil disruption and this civil resistance is the only thing that that's, has ever worked. Well, that is the problem once again this morning, and we had it last week as well. They're out in force, these just of all maniacs. You know, we had some invading the home affairs select. You just go after the 1%. Why are you going after the people in their white vans, the ordinary people who have to go out and earn a living, maybe even day to day, to put food on the table for their families? Do you understand the kind of... Patrick, as soon as the UK government halts all new future oil licenses, I would more than happily go to China. I so you're, so you're turning down the opportunity well, to do that, We need to do it in the UK. We need to go to China. ...committee the other day when they took their shirts off and revealed just up all shirts to try and make a point about climate change. And the trouble is, they continue to keep. ...stop oil have just stopped the old Kent Road, causing a significant amount of disruption, which just shows you the trouble you can cause with just a handful of people. Peaceful, democratic trouble. The police have been amicable throughout going out and about making their point about climate change because they're getting bankrolled to the tune of quite a lot of money by people like Dale Vince. Now, I mean, only against Dale Vince doing what he does, but he shouldn't be supplying for sort of, you know, sucker and money and support to an organization which is basically breaking the law and making people's lives in misery. But evidence about what went on, and of course there were more protesters outside, as Catherine Jones can tell us protesters blocked traffic outside Parliament this morning, just as MPs inside examined how police officers had used the new Public Order Act. This morning we've seen them out on Tower Bridge. We've seen them being distributed around the Tower Bridge by a young worker who decided to try and shove them out of the way and actually get people to move and let the traffic go through. Now what we're also seeing here is Blackfriars Bridge a little bit further down and we're a very irate motorist is absolutely pushing them out of the way with some force. You said to him, you know, the government won't even take the first steps, as you've just said to me, to, uh, to do what they need to do to protect the future of our children. But he might also say, I'm just a builder. You know, I've got to get to work. I've got to do some scaffolding. I've got to plaster a wall. I've got to build something. I, I can't just be sitting here waiting because the government won't do as you want them to do. But he then gets attacked by the police who are using an awful lot of force, a great deal of force against him to try and restrain him as if he's the bad guy. This video is sponsored by Zebec TriScreen. Click the link in the description to get $25 off your purchase. This video you're watching right now was actually made using the TriScreen. Boost your productivity by 44%. Works on almost any laptop. Extremely compact and portable. Remarkably lightweight. 
set up in under 15 seconds. Hit the link to get $25 off your order. Well, he wouldn't have to do any of that if they didn't actually stop the just of all people. Because surely to heavens, if the police are now seeing breaches of the peace happening because people are getting so annoyed with these characters that they're having to take them on at their own game. And surely the police have a duty of care to everybody else to stop them from walking around. And in that way, there won't be any altercations. That way, there won't be any motorists having to be arrested. They put thousands and thousands of pounds. It's obscene. I'm surprised this stuff isn't happening more. How far the British people have to be made poor before we stand up for ourselves? Because there's a reason why we're so poor, and it's because there's more and more rich people. That way, there won't be anybody who need to shove them out of the way and who might come to harm. Because it's the presence of just a boil that's causing all this. Therefore, surely you remove their presence, don't you? You know, if people are marching in a provocative way and people start fighting them, you would ban the march, wouldn't you? Isn't that what the police would do? That will they police it in such a way that it doesn't doesn't hurt anybody. And at the moment, this is hurting the motorists, this is hurting small businesses, hurting individuals who are trying to go about their daily business and being stopped at every turn by these. Now, three Just Stop Oil protesters have been arrested on suspicion of criminal damage at London's Chelsea Flower Show. The woman climbed over a rope and threw orange paint over the display. One bystander turned a hose pipe on the protesters before the Met Police arrived on the scene and arrested. And we know that actually our food security is a threat as a result of it. If you just look at the growing seasons of maize, corn, one of the world's staple crops. Three Just Stop Oil protesters were arrested for this stunt at the Chelsea Flower Show. The group threw paint on flowers calling for an end to oil and gas projects. People yelled shame on you and sprayed the group with water. But others cheered and applauded I support. I know you don't want me to tell you this. I know you want to keep your eyes wide shut. I know you don't want to know. Join us on a slow march in London. The police say the gardens have been criminally damaged. But protesters warned this was not one day event. And have biodiversity when it's too hot for things to thrive. This is beautiful, but we won't have this for long unless we do something. As a goal, it's quite possible to have some oil extraction, but also do lots of other things, as 90% of the global economy has now committed. The eco mob blocked two sections of major roads into London after warning its non violent civil resistance would continue on Wednesday. However, some motorists' patience finally wore out, as one man knelt in the road to play bagpipes loudly to an activist's face. Other protesters appeared to have been sprayed in the face with ink or dye as they sat on the road. If you like these videos, please share them. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe.